Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be learning a song that was suggested by Sanya ji. So Sanya ji wanted to learn uh, the song called Piyu Bhole from the movie uh, Parinita. So today we'll be seeing that song. It's such a beautiful song sung by the most um, lovable duo, I would say, which is Shreya Goshal ji and Sono Nigam ji. So without any further delay, let's set our Shruti box in the scale A and then get into the song. The start of the song uh, starts with a humming and the humming is nothing but the same tune as that of the first uh, Pallavi. So let's quickly learn the Pallavi and then it will be easy for us to convert it to the humming, right? So the very first note, the Piyu Bhole, the P of the Piyu Bhole starts at the note Sa. Where is our sa? Sa, pi. Okay. So that is our start note. So our starting note is pretty easy to pick. Now the P U starts at sa, goes one step down, comes back to sa, and then goes one step up. P U bole. Easy, right? P U bole. And then the next P A bole goes further up. Piya bole. So what is happening here? Piya bo is going up and then finally le is coming down. Piya bole. Right? And then the next line is actually uh, a hum but let's try and sing with the lyrics itself so that we get a clarity of the notes. Okay? Kya ye bole. So kya ye bole also follows the same like Piyu Bole, right? Piyu Bole, Kya Ye Bole And then comes Januna. Januna also is sung the same way as that of Piyu Bole or Kya Ye Bole. The only difference is the last note is skipped there. So how is Piyu Bole sir? Piyu Bole Now let's try the same tune in Januna. Januna but in Januna, we skip the last note. Januna. So that's the whole line. Now, next comes Jia Dole, Hole Hole. The tune repeats itself. So let's try and replace the lyrics for the same tune. Jia Dole, Hole Hole, Kyo Ye Bole, Januna. But this is the plain version, right? Now, in the second line, if you see Jia Dole, there are some subtle addition to the notes, like some decorations done to these notes. So let's see that as well, okay? Jia Dole. So what we are doing at Dole? Dole. So we are looping the notes together. Jia Dole. And then comes Hole Hole. So in that second hole, we are just trying to, you know, touch the next note and come. Hole, hole was the first plain version. Hole, 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 hole. Okay, simple, right? So let's try along with these variations. Jia dole, hole, hole. Beautiful. Now comes. So in QA Bole, we just extend that Bole before we come down. Instead of saying like this, So we extend that Bole and then loop towards the end. Beautiful. Now starts the verses of the song, right? Starting with Dil Ki Jo. So Dil again starts at the note Sa. Dil Sa Dil Ki Jo We started Sa, we go two steps up and then we come back. Dil Ki Jo And then we repeat the same thing again. Baate hai Baate Jo Dil Ki Hai Simple line, isn't it? Let's try the whole thing together. Dil ki jo baate hai 
बातें जो दिल की है ब्यूटिफुल एंड देन कम्स ही मैं सो इट इज ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग द सेम ट्यून एज दैट ऑफ दिल की जो बट द ओनली थिंग इज देर इज एन एडिशनल नोट टूवर्ड्स द एंड दिल ही मैं टिल हेयर इट इज द सेम दिल ही मैं सो दैट वी कैन कनेक्ट टू द नेक्स्ट लाइन एंड देन कम्स रखना पिया the r of the rak also starts at the same place where we left the previous line where did we leave the previous line dil hi mein rak rak so the rak stays at the same note okay rak na piya so the na piya slightly goes up all the notes are closely packed so so try and sing this carefully okay dil hi rakh na piya now the next verse is lab to na kholu main right also follows the same tune as that of dil ki jo baatein hain that is one beautiful thing about this song this song is very very simple so notes wise there is no much uh, thing that we do in this song the only thing that makes the song so beautiful is the emotion and the way it is being sung okay we'll definitely see that but let's finish the song first lab to na kholu me kholu na lab to par aankho se sab keh di ya and then here we extend that ya and then we come two steps down aankho se sab keh di ya beautiful and then piyu bole starts off again which we have already learned piyu bole piya bole so if you remember we learned hole hole the same thing you can apply while you are singing uh, as a continuation of the second verses okay piyu bole piya bole bole that's it piyu bole piya bole kya ye bole janu na and towards the end the janu na has a little more variation so the first part janu janu has four notes ja a no so what is happening ja comes one step down and then goes back to the same note and then goes up ja no and then comes na na has six notes na so initially the first four notes is a zigzag pattern na and the fourth note we extend na final two notes comes down so together the janu janu na that's it so now the next paragraph starts at the higher sa sa pa sa ik ik starting with ik nadi ik ik so ik a so the last syllable comes down ik and then nadi starts where we left ik na de se so what's happening na starts at one note goes one step up comes back down and stays there na de se ik na de and then maine pucha follows the same tune maine pucha and then comes itla ke right itla ke there are totally six notes in that right itla a k e right it stays at the same place where we left the last uh, word pucha and then comes la ke la ke so la ke what's happening starting at one note going one step up coming back to that note going one step down la ke 
Jaldi. And Jaldi stays at the same place where we let, left Lake. Jaldi. Kaha. Kaha just goes up and comes down. Kaha. And then comes Dur. And from this line, the song is going further up. Okay? So the Dur has four notes. Dur. Now the Dur starts at the same place where we left Jaldi Kaha. Jaldi Kaha. Do. Do. And then comes Tere. So if you see, it kind of goes like an infinite curve. Do. So it is going up and then taking a loop. Now comes Tere. So Tere is also going up and taking a loop, right? So it's it just looks like, so if you just visualize this, so it's like uh, going like an infinite uh, symbol, right? Do re te re ka ghar hai. If you see the whole thing follows the same tune. So let's try this uh, once again. Do re te re ka ghar hai. Beautiful. And then comes Bhal. So Bhal stays at the same note. But where is it starting? It's starting slightly higher than where we left. Ghar hai bhal, bhal ka ke. Bhal. Stays at the same place. Ka. Starting at the same place, going one step up. Ke. And again starting at the same place and going further down. Bhal ka ke. Jaldi kaha. So if you see the notes are going like three steps up and coming one step down. Rega maga. So something like this it's happening. Jaldi kaha. So the whole line together. Do re te re pi ka ghar hai. Bhal ka ke. Jaldi Beautiful. The next parts are very easy because we have already learnt it in the Pallavi. Same tune as we learnt as Nil ki jo baate hai. Same tune. Okay. I'm sorry if my lyrics are going wrong because I am not really fluent with this song. So there might be some pronunciation mistakes. So please forgive me for that. But the tune is correct. So you can trust me on that. Okay. So this was our song. But what makes this song beautiful is the way how it is sung. So now let's focus on that and try to make our song even beautiful, okay? Now we know that this song is sung by Shreya Ghoshalji and Sonu Nikamji. And the speciality about these two singers are, their voice is filled with brikas and uh, small small runs. Like uh, in Tamil they say podi sangatis, which means uh, very quick, very crisp uh, sangatis, uh, runs, okay? So for example, so the piya, if you heard it, uh, it's a very subtle thing, uh, very crisp it comes out. So these are called podi sangatis, right? So these two singers are very well versed in adding their magic with these kind of techniques into the song. But I will tell you, it is not so difficult. And another uh, speciality about these two singers is they very well know how to emote the song. If you have heard both these singers sing a sad song, you might start crying because the emotion that they put for each and every words, it is so special that it brings out the apt emotion that is needed for the song, right? And it's the same thing that is applied in this song as well. So the lyrics of this song, like you know, is having a lot of uh, uh, happy moments uh, in the song, right? So. And the picturization is also like pretty quirky because they are trying to compose this song in the uh, movie scene. If you see the video song of this, you will get to know about that. So they are just having fun and you know teasing each other about uh, each other's uh, capability of uh, being uh, a musician or something of that sort, right? The main mood of the song is uh, happiness. That is of course there because you can see that they both are enjoying, right? 
and there is also a quirkiness wherein they are like teasing each other uh, while uh, singing the song or while composing the song and of course there is so much of love so each of them are dreaming about their partner so these three emotions so basically this is a bright and a fresh song with all these kind of emotions so that's the same thing that we have to try and apply to the song right from the starting be you bhole so there is a subtleness in the voice be you bhole became be you bhole so what we are doing we are just looping towards the end piya bhole became piya bhole so piya so we are just connecting those notes piya bhole piya bhole kya ye bhole jano na so if you see the whole line what is happening is we are connecting each and every note and then we are singing it as a single line not as four different parts so you can also add the piya bhole you can add it here as well because in the song that's how it starts off piyu bhole piya bhole and one more thing that you would have noticed by now is the volume control piyu bhole so the voice fades piya bhole again it fades here kya ye bhole here the volume goes slightly up kya ye bhole so in that bhole the voice is going slightly up and then it fades again kya ye bhole jano na and towards that it again fades so let's try and use the same techniques what we learnt in the next lines jiya dole hale hale kyun ye bhole jano na beautiful now going to dil ki jo baatein hain so in this line if you see there is a lot of quirkiness right dil ki jo baatein hain so baatein hain so in the word baatein there is a bit of quirkiness that comes in baatein hain like teasing uh, kind of uh, an expression right dil ki jo baatein hain baatein jo dil ki hai dil yo mein rakhna piya again piya the volume goes up and then it comes down and did you notice that we are not singing these two lines continuously dil ki jo baatein hain baatein jo dil ki hai we are not doing that we are actually breaking it right dil ki jo baatein hain baatein jo dil ki hai why we are doing this because by doing this by breaking the lines like this you'll be able to bring out the expression of quirkiness very well in your song dil ki jo baatein hai so dil ki jo baatein hai you can play around however you like okay so let even the same uh, technique let's try and continue the next line lab to na kholu main kholu na lab to par aankhon se sab keh diya jiya dole hale hale kya ye bhule jano na beautiful okay now let's switch to the next paragraph which is ek nadi se maine poocha so in this line when the ek nadi starts ek nadi se so here also we are breaking it right ek nadi se maine poocha so even in that word poocha there is a small quirkiness that comes in right so ek we are starting it strong nadi se we are softening it maine poocha again here we are starting it strong and then we are softening it ithla ke ithla ke so it's just a small loop so how did we learn this ithla ke right ithla ke so it's the same thing that we are seeing just we are seeing it continuously ithla ke 
जल्दी का जल्दी कहा एंड इन द वर्ड कहा यू कैन ऑल्सो एड अ स्मॉल ऑसिलेशन जल्दी का हा एंड वेन यू आर एडिंग ऑसिलेशन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर टू रेड्यूज योर वॉल्यूम लाइक टू कंट्रोल योर वॉल्यूम जल्दी का हा so you should actually have that kind of echoing effect in your voice when you are giving a bit of oscillation uh, kind of effect okay jalti ka ha that's it so now let's try this whole line together ek nadi se maine poocha ithla ke jalti ka ha beautiful and then comes दूर तेरे सो इन दिस लाइन वी ओनली फेड टूवर्ड्स द एंड दूर तेरे रे वी ओनली लूव डेड एंड देन वी फेडेड आर वॉइस दूर तेरे पी का बल का के जल्दी कहा Oh my god what a beautiful line isn't it balaka ke so how did we learn this balaka ke balaka ke that's how we learned it right balaka ke so whenever you go up you just have to remember balaka whenever you go to those higher points just remember that you just go touch it and come back okay while you're singing the actual song see note wise that is the note right but while you are singing you need not explicitly show that you are going to that note bal ka ke you don't have to show that bal ka ke you just have to just go and touch it and come back see how much of a difference that makes right bal ka ke jaldi ka ha and then in the word ka ha you can add a small run jaldi ka ka so it's just three notes ka we are just stressing on the same note ka ha ka ha so when you sing it first ka ha ka ha ka ha ka ha that's it it's very simple bal kha ke jaldi ka ha so the whole line together dur te beautiful so this was our whole song with the emotions hold on don't go away because we also have one more important point to learn in the song which is the taalam which is the tempo or the taal or the rhythm anything you can say okay now we'll quickly see that because it's not going to take much time so this whole song is set in uh, tishram nadai which is 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 so let's try and sing the song slowly so that you can catch the beat uh, i have put the lyrics on your screen so that you can follow it accordingly okay and the song starts at the second count 1 2 3 the two count right there is where the song starts so let's try and follow it in that way 1 2 3 1 p ya bole p u bole क्या ये बोले जानो ना जिया डोले हले हले क्यों ये बोले जानो ना दिल की जो बातें हैं बातें जो दिल की है दिल यू में रखना पिया लब तो ना खोलो मैं खोलो ना लब तो पर आँखों से सब कह दिया पिया भोले पियू भोले क्या ये भोले जानो ना एक नदी से मैंने पूछा 
इटलाती जल्दी कहा दूर तेरे पी का घर पल का की जल्दी कहा ब्यूटीफुल सो दिस वॉज आर सॉन्ग फॉर टूडे थैंक यू सो मच सोनिया जी फॉर दिस ब्यूटिफुल सजेशन इन डी अ वंडरफुल सॉन्ग दिस हैड बीन माई फेवरेट सॉन्ग इन वेन आई वॉज एट स्कूल एंड आई यूज टू लिसन टू दिस सॉन्ग ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे सो इट बॉट बैक सो मेनी मेमोरीज सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट एंड टू ऑल द लिसनर्स हु हैव स्टेड टिल हियर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्टेइंग टिल द एंड I hope you learnt something from this song. Uh, whatever it is, however you felt, please do mention that in the comment sections. I would love to hear from you all. So till the next video, please stay tuned and keep singing. Take care.